So, I just received the Liquid Off Invisible Nano Screen Protector. Um, originally, it was designed for it to be sprayed all over inside the phone so it can actually waterproof everything, but they don't suggest doing it just because of liability issues. But, um, as you can see, my note for there's no scratches because I just removed the protector. I'm thinking about also spraying the back uh, so it will protect the camera if it actually works well. So let's see how this goes. So it says to spray about oh, two sprays already spilled some. Okay. And then it's supposed to rub it in in circular motion throughout the phone. Hmm, it's clear, so how can you tell if it really... It seems like the spray bottle is leaking. I'm also supposed to spray in the crevices. Felt like I'm wasting some of this stuff. So we use to provide microfiber cloth, circular overlapping motion until surface is smooth and transparent. Allow trimming to dry on the screen for two minutes. Okay. Okay, Google. Set a timer for two minutes. Okay. So, I most likely will fast forward this, but I will just continue recording. But it's clear. Application is complete. The nano coating will immediately be effective. It's nice and clean, but Bottles loose. That sucks, kind of wasting some material. Okay, Thirty six seconds. Nine seconds. Okay. So now <laughs> I have water here. It should bead off, I hope. Like that. That's trippy. Whoa. It's not sticking. Let's feel 
really smooth. It's supposed to be really scratch resistant, but I'm not gonna really test that out right now. Speaker hole. Cool. Guess that worked. I'm just not sure how resistant it is into the crevices there. And I have to test to make sure the camera doesn't look hazy in any way. And if that's going to be the case, then I'm going to apply it to the back. It's supposed to be extremely scratch resistant. Nothing. Okay. One more. That's it.